let's look at a problem in which we are asked to calculate average and reactive power. In this problem, we are asked to find average power, which is symbolized by uppercase P, and the reactive power, which is our equation is symbolized by uppercase Q. Then we are asked to state whether the network inside the box is absorbing or delivering, oops, wrong one, uh, average power, or whether the network inside the box is absorbing or supplying magnetizing bars. So this is P and this one is Q. And it's absorbing. If it's positive, it's delivering. If it's negative, it's absorbing bars. If it's positive, it is supplying. If it's negative. Okay. The equations we will use to solve this problem are uh, equation 10.5, which is P is equal to P, meaning average power, is equal to the magnitude maximum of voltage max current divided by 2 times cosine of the phase shift of the voltage minus the phase shift of the current, and that's in watts. And we'll be using equation 10.6, which is reactive power Q is equal to V sub M, I sub M, divided by 2, sine of the phase voltage minus the phase of current, and that is bars. Um, okay, so... Our max amplitude of the voltage is 100, so V sub M is equal to 100. Uh, I sub M is equal to 4. And our phase shift for voltage is theta sub V is equal to 15, plus 15 degrees. And theta sub I is equal to minus 15 minus 90. Why? Because this is expressed in sine, and we want to change that and express it in um, cosine. So to do that, we subtract 90, and we'll rewrite our current to I is equal to 4 cosine omega T minus 15 degrees minus 90 degrees amps. So I is equal to 4 cosine omega T minus 105 degrees. All right, so these are our values that we'll be working with. And these are the equations that we'll be working with. So let's get started. Calculate the average and reactive power. Um, so average power is P equals V sub M, I sub M over 2 cosine theta sub V minus theta sub I. And we'll rewrite these guys here or we'll copy them here. Let's do that. Uh, copy, bring it down here, paste. There we go. So let's fill in P, oh. P is equal to 100 times 4 divided by 2 
cosine, and this is uh, volts, and this is amps. Uh, cosine theta sub V, which is 15 degrees, minus uh, theta sub I, which is minus 105 degrees. And again, that's watts. So P is equal to... I believe I can stick this in my calculator, but why do that when I already have it written out? Minus 100 watts. All right, and then using our equation for Q, I'm going to move this guy down. Let's see. Let's Let's use another color here. Q is equal to 100, or here I'll, V sub M, I sub M, divided by 2, times sine theta sub V minus theta sub I, and that is expressed in bars. All right, so Q is equal to, One hundred times four divided by two sine of fifteen degrees minus minus one oh five bar and Q is equal to positive one seventy three point two bars. All right, so The next part is asking, state whether the network inside the box is absorbing or delivering average power. Well, we said our average power is P equals minus 100 watts. And since the value of P here is negative, that means the network inside the box inside the box is delivering average power to the terminals. And our value for Q or reactive power is positive 173.21 bar and that's a positive value so the network inside the box is absorbing magnetizing magnetizing bars